be live. All right. This is Flash at the In a Perfect World program. And tonight we have, not only do I have Rob Orks, but we have a guest from the Freaker's Ball set. Miss Moose Girl is here tonight. Hey. So there you go. And in a perfect world, um, we would have, um, hey, anybody want to do the hellos to the RLM? Are we no. Going? Yeah, we're going. We're going. You're if you're in the conversation. Uh, I think the topic tonight <laughs> I want to talk about is our collective love for fiction and how <laughs> how it affects us in real life. And uh, you want to say hi to everybody in the RLM moose, or do you want me to do it? Uh, you can. I'll let you. Ah, <laughs> you. You rascal, Rob. <laughs> Hi, everybody in the RLM. <laughs> nah, we got Barman and Grimnir. Hey, Grim. Moose, who is on the call tonight. Hey, Miss Kate. I know Miss Kate checks in with us sometimes when she's... Hey, Dork Cakes just popped in. Anti, Asmo, Brent underscore. Hey, Woody. Chloe, Chalcedony, Chloe. D underscore C Echelon, me. I be Don C, J Dread, Pox Five, Pox Phone, Pone Sauce, Rain, RLM Fluke, Rob Works, Rome's Vinny, Hey Vinny, Woodman, the Phantom showed up too. Oh, we got the Phantom. Uh oh. Uh, Beetle, Colfax, 101, Cyborg, Noodle, Duck, Kota, Gromit, Java Doctor, Java Doctor, Two J's, Nine J's, Kozu, Skittle. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I made it. So, anyway, tonight, I think it was Rob that said, hey, why don't we just open it up to the table? And I guess the table's a few people that hooked up on the wire. And here we are now to entertain you this evening on this, the 13th, the lucky 13th of November in 2018. And for just nineteen ninety five, I'll sell you the antidote to what's in your water. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in a perfect world, take one. Rob, you got anything going on? Not much. Um, my connection seems to be fluctuating. Hmm. So I may be dropping in and out some. Fluctuating? On, in a perfect world, we don't fluctuate in a perfect world, Rob. <laughs> Oh, did I mean, did, 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 didn't, you, didn't you get the memo? <laughs> uh oh. You sound. It hurts wait, wait. You're on. You sound like an old guy we know named Uncle Ron <laughs> with your hoarseness, Flash. Yeah, sir, gave me this dreaded cold. Uh oh. And uh -oh. yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I'm older. It took longer. No, but. It didn't affect me as bad as it got hurt. I just got the, what do you call it? Like the end of it. We got Stuffed up in the, yeah, it's changing, it's changing my wonderful voice. So people uh, don't know it's me. <laughs> I was disguising myself from my 30 people that listen to the In a Perfect World. Uh-oh, Kate's taking us in the kitchen with her. Uh-oh. Well, that's because we might tell a story or pick a topic that's entertaining to her delicate <laughs> ears. Oh, I got the elixir from the wife. Oh, look at that. I'm living large tonight. Anyway, what do you think of my topic, or you want to try something on your own? How we like our fiction. Yeah, no, how we we love our fiction. We I love mean, our fiction. People. Well, like okay, the... think about it, where people have statues of their superheroes and collections of this particular a animal it's it's a fiction of a react you know it's not real oh yeah right okay well i've grown up and figured out in my life that the stuff that you have that represents you to some bullshit world that doesn't matter you know the things that matter you got in your mind <laughs> and the stuff that you're lugging around with you is just excess weight stuff Baggage. and it's but it's our reality it defines us in the public eye your home your car your job all all the shit that really works against you <laughs> is what 
it's how how you're rated by your peers because they've never read a, an honest history book. They don't they don't know what it's like to tell the truth because they don't know what the truth is about anything. I have peers. Oh, sure you do. We're here. We're as close to peers as you're going to hit. Oh, okay. Well, the people I, on the Real Liberty well, Media that... I have to mute know that, for a second. I have to call my dentist office real quick. Hey. All right. Already, I'll be take back. care of your Yeah, I'll take care of your health. Yeah, but don't get sick on us. Are you crazy? Anyway, I was just ranting about how, you know, fiction is everything on the exterior and, and the reality is just what you are. <laughs> I don't know where you'd want Pretty to go with that crazy idea. Earth is fiction, and then, then you spend the rest of your life overcoming it. That's the way I see it. Well, I don't feel like I'm overcoming anything. I'm very comfortable at this point Breaking in life. Up to it. I got a good partner. Yeah, you did. So, yeah, but see, I've got, got it made in life with, with all the... You know, the trappings of life for me are good. I'm comfortable with, with what I've got. So my outlook is better. So what you're saying is move to a socialist country and everything will be great. <laughs> no, I'm saying that if, if being a, if being, I, easy breezy, if being in, a, in solitude works for you, well, that's cool. It doesn't work for me. I can do it, but I don't prefer it over a partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody but in a per, you know, in a perfect world, you're not you're not bound to a marriage. For you, some people are like that. No, I did the marriage thing. Well, you know, I I fell off a motorcycle, and you know. I had to get back on that damn motorcycle and ride it again. So I did. Out of, he told me to do it. And at the time, I really didn't understand what the point of all that was. Okay, I'm back. You know, hey, Moose. Stop everything. Moose is back. I was just um, recanting an old tale about falling off a bike. Oh, okay. And the, the reason for it was, I at, at the time it happened, I was 14, and I was pretty shook up over the, the wreck I had and how it happened and all this other crap. So I said, no, nah, I ain't doing no more motorcycles. My, my old man made me ride it again that day. And he said, okay, that's enough. He goes, if you don't want to anymore, I'll get it. But years later, he got a three-wheel uh, Volkswagen. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I wasn't afraid of bikes anymore. So, you know, the outside appearance of the thing changed my view of it so what i mean by i'm the fiction of oh it's different on three wheels than it is on two is just total insanity it's no different on two or three or four or six or eight whatever many wheels you got you're still rolling so the less wheels you have what what difference does that make but i'd got myself after that wreck i got scared of doing it yeah yeah, but it took something vain like riding a trike that to bring me out of that fear of getting into another accident. Because two wheels or three, what the fuck is the difference on a, in an accident? You're cooked. Mm, well, if you if you have a bad enough wreck, of course. Yeah, well, at least that's what, that's, wheel, you're not going to just fall over. <laughs> well, that was the logic I think I used, but I still... Deep down inside, I knew I was I was had been afraid of doing it again since the last time, and I used the three wheel as an excuse to overcome the fear. Yeah, well, it's like the first experience you have with fire. The first time you do it, you realize, hey, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I I don't think I was that adventurous with that myself, but you sound like you were. <laughs> Well, everybody oh. goes through it. I mean, as a, as a, as a child, you learn about fire. Oh, uh, Sooner or later, you either, I, you either learn yeah. by by getting burnt, or your parents are so adamant about it, stay away from that that you learn. Yeah, you my don't father really learn until good. you actually get yeah. burnt, and then you know, yeah. okay, that's hot. It burns. 
<laughs> no. My dad was a stickler on shit like that. He taught you a lesson. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the old, you know, fall off the horse, get back on. Yeah, well, what what do you use to, to overcome a fear and then try it again? Because some of that shit's pretty hard. Like, today, I don't think I'd ride a, a two-wheel motorcycle again. I think I'm done. Even my wife's against it. <laughs> Never. But. Right. Uh-oh. You're... When I was uh, <laughs> 16, I guess. Doing about 35 miles an hour, smacked into the side of an El Camino, did a flip over the top of it, and landed on my feet. <laughs> wow. Wow. What year El Camino right. was it? Huh? <laughs> Do you remember the year of the El Camino? <laughs> what the fuck? The year of the model. The, <laughs> the year that, that I had. What? I had have to do with I had a night I had a 1959 El Camino. It was one of my first um, cars. I would have to guess it was a 70 or 80 model. The shorter, okay, the shorter one. Anyway, this dumbass ran a stop sign right in front of me, and I, oh, I hit him right behind the driver's door. Oh my god! Well, the one that yeah. I had, if I would have hit you in in a bike, you, you probably wouldn't have flipped over it. It was pretty big, but wow, that's. It's yeah. a big truck. Well, the older I mean, ones are bigger, but wow. Bike flipped up. I went flying. And landed on your feet. Flipped over the freaking El Camino and kind of almost landed on my feet. The lady that was out in her yard saw it all and told me about it. It was like it was like TV, man. You did a flip over that thing and you landed on your feet and then slid on your ass. Wow. <laughs> ah. Do you still ride? Wrist. And, uh, you know, I was okay. My bike was fucked. Do you, yeah, do you still ride now? I would if I had a bike. I have ridden since. Oh, uh, okay. So you would. So I, I would. I didn't ever have a problem. So. I was never scared to go back to riding a bike again. Wow, I was. Wow. Well, what a difference, you know. Same thing, two different results. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't hurt bad enough to not walk and all that. I could walk around and shit. I was internally, I had a little problem that needed to be attended but it wasn't enough to cripple me for the rest of the day i had still had life left <laughs> but i didn't land on my feet when i hit i wish i would <laughs> no at that speed i probably yeah, I mean, would have broke my leg i wasn't really hurt bad either so i mean i got a little gravel Just like yeah something. well that was i about thought it. i had yeah i was wearing a jacket and a helmet but it still didn't. Uh, we were riding in the dirt kind of thing. This not dirt. It's hard to explain. It was like a a paved road for maybe a military thing or something along a main main piece of uh, city street. And it well, hadn't been developed bikes. yet. I had other. I had wipeouts and things like that, right? So let me know. No, I only had crashing. the one. I had the one. It was enough. <laughs> it was enough for me. But I've been lucky. Uh, check it out. Never break any bones. Just didn't have that impact on me. Mm. Well, I guess if I had to use a motorcycle, I could. I would do it. But outside of needing to, I I don't see doing it. Lucky me. But I still think deep down inside, because of the wreck I had at the time I had, I think it's damaged me from wanting to do that kind of stuff ever again in the three-wheeler i was a lot it was a different situation i was riding the driving the roads not out in the dirt where people aren't responsible for what they do right because we're riding in un, unincorporated lands you know where the city didn't have a stake in it yet so if you got hurt, who do you blame? And, and then it's your word against theirs, and just big nightmares would come of it. So people just say, fuck it. Sorry I broke, you know, bent your wheel. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that same shit just like I did on Skype. But, uh, are, really? are we doing the horrible voices? Are you? you? get it too? No, no, I don't think so. No. Well, Grimner says, I, Flash sounds like he's talking through one of the voice disguisers they use to make people anonymous. 
So <laughs> that's a good one. Hey, hey, cakes, what's up? I will not ever speak of this again. I don't know, but it's 4:20 somewhere, like Vinny says. So oh, I'm loading shit. up. No, it's not yet. I don't, still seven I don't care. All right. So what? Rules? You think I'm following yeah. the rules? Yeah. Follow the rules. <laughs> Look what look what you guys had to go through to get me to do the show at the right time. <laughs> it was like the Inquisition. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It Tom, was are you some... really coming off? No, I I really do know. Uh, this stuff is a lot easier than I, I th for other people. <laughs> All this uh, technology, you know, it's very overwhelming to a. I don't know, a non-scientific thinking mind? Because you're scientific thinking, right, Rob? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yep. Moose? Uh, I was always yes. into science. What do you think, like a scientist or a, or what? A religion editor or... No. A, how do you... Well, yeah, but you got to define yourself. I was just throwing <laughs> weird, weird examples so you'd know what I was asking, is, is all I meant. I was an implying right? um, I, I believe that sciences have been, I don't know, kind of misrepresented, so it's hard to tell you what kind of belief it is, but it's based on something mathematical, I think, so it's probably valid to a degree. Maybe not to the levels that people want you to believe. Right. I mean, there's all different kinds of aspects of science. I mean, I'm not real scientific, so I've gone along with common sense to interpret what science is from other people. <laughs> well, you're just telling me a story to me that I've either heard something, a version of it before, or this is new and I've never heard of this before. If it's new, how can I agree with it? With, you know, what am I basing agreeing on something brand new I've never heard in 59 years? <laughs> so, most of the time when we agree about shit... Wow, there's that weird Hey, Grimner. Hey. Hey, Grimner. Hey. Hey, Grim. This is more fun than a... Anyway. Welcome to the... In a perfect world where we could screw it up for you for free. <laughs> hey, cool. Grim. Say hi to the people, Mr. Grimm. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, people. <laughs> uh, I, I was kind of wondering, uh, today's topic is how we like our fiction, right? I have no idea. <laughs> I suppose so. Well, that's what I thought Which is a topic, but that's I what I thought of. <laughs> Who knows? So I, I thought I'd ask, um, what is not fiction? As I think pretty much most everything is fiction. Exactly. Ah. That's the that's the point that I agree with. That some at some point we're just making all this stuff up. It's real to you because your real doesn't have anything to do with me. I don't feel it. I don't see it. You're still there, but I don't. You know, outside of hearing a voice or reading type. Where are you? <laughs> there you go. Well, I offered another question, but <laughs> I it's hard to answer because what you're what you look around and see is there in your mind. You you can see it, so you you think it's there. And if you walk into it hard enough, your your body's going to agree with your eyes and go, "Yep, it's there." <laughs> but they can prove through science, according to science, and people that tell you what science does. These people have made it so that nothing is solid. It's just vibrating at a very, very high speed, and it f makes it feel that way to, the, to you. <laughs> That's what feelings are for. It's very complicated, but it, it, it's too hard to explain in an hour, <laughs> I would assume. You know, just... Everything's vibrating, and things that collide in space seem to 
cause friction. You know, when they try to, that's that must be it. You put your pipe down. Is those, those little tiny things are falling down on top of something else, and I don't know. According to the weights and what it's made of, it ain't moving anywhere. It's a very strange concept when you think about it. Yeah, it seems like you know, everybody's having connection problems. Well, I'm I'm just talking about crazy shit anyway. <laughs> Picked a weird talking, night to... Oh, I dropped shit, off. I missed, I missed everything Grim said. Oh, no. Uh, well, Grimner says, according to him, if I quote him right anyway, to him it's, it's all... Fiction. Basically... Yeah, basically fiction. Nothing nothing more to it. Wow. Well, that's kind of a exactly. deep one. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I don't know what happened there. I dropped connection or something. Huh, well, well yeah. every, we're, everybody's been dropping but me. Huh. I get a good voice. Mean guy. <laughs> <laughs> I get so, the Grim, good voice. Uh, you basically go with the uh, the big Bill Hicks theory of reality, huh? It's just a ride. <laughs> just a ride. Well, how could it possibly be anything else? Right. I mean, you know, you get dropped off at the beginning of the ride, and you go through all the bumps and turns and ups and downs, and then at the end, you back out at the gate. Wow, somebody dropped you? <laughs> that, that's sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I, they pulled me out screaming, but, you know, hey. I, 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 I don't really recall that moment, so I, I can't tell you whether I'm screaming or not. <laughs> How do you well, know you were in, in my personal experience, all the ones I saw were screaming. <laughs> They were breathing the and blabbing. I don't remember that part for Smack some reason. No, I no, I was actually with my wife during the second my second kid's birth in the room. I was behind her, not wasn't into all that watching shit. I just promised her I'd support her, and she said, "Well, then come in here." <laughs> so, so I did. And do your supporting. <laughs> well, I didn't know a female had the strength to break your hand until that day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she yeah had my my daughter, my second daughter, and unfortunately, because of you know politics and mostly the uh, the way that my mind works, I never did manage to keep a, a marriage going. So, boom, here I am, <laughs> all these years later. I mean, my daughter's 25. Still here, Grim. I got to do the math. Oh, Grim bumped off and on, too. Ouch. Hmm. Yeah, everybody's just... Whoa, maybe it's, maybe it's the service. Yeah. It's all your fault, Rob nice Works. Nice. It's all your fault. Because, you know, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have this problem. Right. I wonder what... Why people assume that uh, ha not having problems would go have anything to do with the perfect world in the first place? I think you, I think we'd still have things to conquer, you know, something to achieve, you know, not not beat the shit out of and massacre. But... Hello, you're here. We hear you. I hear you. Mm. Hear me? I hear you. Okay. Hey, somebody's back. Oh, I lost my train of thought there. Talking. No, I was. What? Yeah, he was. I, now was. I, I'm, I've retired. <laughs> going out in a, going out a ball of flames, <laughs> falling to hell. <laughs> Never. Because, you know, in a perfect world, shit happens. I think so. Okay, he must not oh. be on the call then. Me? I oh, wait. Flash on the Those call. three on the call. Grimner, Roberts, Flash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see three. I saw nothing that indicated I was yep. on a call. That's weird. Um, making yeah, all the noises are making the meters move. Weird. So maybe it's the service. Oh, ouch! Because you know, we're not in a perfect world yet, and I blame Rob Works. I both... What? I blame Rob Works. Uh. 
Take one for the team, I don't Rob. Know. I just. <laughs> what? I used to read a lot more books than I do. I haven't read books, like an actual book, since I had children. I didn't have time for uh, reading books when I was raising yeah. kids. Yeah, I believe that. Now that you've got time, what are you doing? Oh, just knowing that, like, everything the government says is basically is a lie, so therefore it's fiction. <laughs> yeah, but that kind of shit can limit your, your life to See, no, reality. Flash can't hear Grimner, apparently, because oh, they're talking oh. over each other. Oh, no, I couldn't. Uh-oh. That's weird. The weirdest show okay. ever made. That's what I want to be remembered for. <laughs> the creativity of well, his... <laughs> you're well on the way for that. I hope so. Well, you never, never can't can. have too much fun. There he is. <laughs> now he's not here out here. Can you hear Grim? Yeah, you can probably hear me now since I'm back on the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm good now. Okay. Hello, Grimner. Welcome back to yeah. In a Perfect World with a cast of thousands tonight. <laughs> Perfectly fictional perfect world. <laughs> yeah, you know, grab a gun, get some, get some ammunition. We're gonna go build us a wall. <laughs> oh, <ammo. laughs> I'm not. Can you? <laughs> oh, come on. You guys ain't gonna make me do this wall thing all by myself, are you? <laughs> Where's my fellow know. Americans at when I need help? Oh, You're not American so, now. So, last night, Circus telling me that the the internet, she's watching okay. the Danish thing. And they've got a accident in Germany, right? That's so bad it had um, traffic backed up how many... 20 kilometers of backed up traffic. <laughs> They're, and so the Germans are trying to tell the, the Danes to find another way, but it's a border. It's an international border. Right. <laughs> well, that just goes to show, you know, when That's shit the goes wrong. No. Oh, okay. What, 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 do you know the name of the road that comes into Denmark? No. Sir, don't. Oh, that's okay. And no, they're, num they're numbered and you know, but that Autobahn's a certain road, I think. Oh, it's a different... Okay. What? Huh? Yeah, I know. It's, it's not that particular road, unfortunately, but they had the traffic backed up so far because of a, of a wreck. And oh, yeah, that happened all the time. Okay. Well, you know... Uh, That's why? like every day here in the world, in the U.S., well, I thought everybody was perfect and the world was all, you know, back to normal and everything was great. What happened to that? There's no such thing as perfect. And if there's not... I don't think so. It's like... Wow. Only... Oh, so. <laughs> you can get close, but... Well, so I can't call my illusion whatever I want to you call it. You can call it. whatever you want. I mean, <laughs> I, oh, man. Now I'm hurt, Moose. No, you can call what whatever you do? want, man. I don't care. Uh, I don't care what you call it. Oh, okay. It. <laughs> I, want to call, I want to call it a perfect world. Even though it's not, at least I'm going to call it one. Because I know what it would take to get a perfect world, and I can't get cooperation out of my peers. For it's really what? It's sad. So we can unfuck this mess that we're all in. Okay. Well, you know, there might be some perfect assholes. <laughs> <It wouldn't, laughs> That's see, true. If if they followed my easy to understand three step plan, nothing could go wrong. Nothing. But people want to um, <laughs> make believe shit that's not real and sell it as the truth so they can control other people and amass wealth. It's stupid. There's better ways. Yep. There you go. I've got, and then I get called a communist right about that part. But, you know, I started out with the internet scene for the first time. I think the first thing I saw about life from another perspective was the fresco stuff. What was that? Um, Zeitgeist. And, and, 
and I came out at the end looking at it just like I look at society now. So I was impressed with the improvements, but not the mentality. I thought, no, nah, you're that guy's power. Yeah, power mad wants to run the world, kind of, you know, like the brain in the TV cartoon. TV and the brain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, he was a smart guy, and he has a great idea, but he's a control freak, and it shows in his description to me Absolutely. that to live in his world, you have to kind of bend it. This is what it is. You know, come here. Wait a minute. You, you know, where'd the individual go? Just like the present. You know. Take your individuality and get the hell out of here. This is a gang, stupid. <laughs> You don't see that? <clears throat> Anybody? Eh? Takers? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I see it. it needs to get real clickish. Oh, yeah. Are we real clickish, us guys? Do people look at us and go, well, there's that old guy gang of anti government <laughs> weirdos? Who cares? I don't know. Well, I'm just uh, making conversation on a radio program. <laughs> I didn't know what it's come to mind that you know at my age in life it sometimes strikes me as wow i made it this damn far and i wasn't even trying and, <laughs> and i look around and some people are really trying they're working out you know they they don't smoke and they do all this shit that they're taught that doesn't have any fucking thing to do with you living a long time or not there's only one thing that it can explain if you live a long time or you don't and that is? <laughs> well, in the immortal words of some guy I saw in a movie, I'm trying to remember his name. Um, Tommy Lee Jones, in the, when he did the, the Two-Face character in the Batman movie, and he says, dumb doodah luck. There you go. Dumb doodah luck. That's it. Just dumbass fucking luck. We'll take you places that expectation and um, plans don't even think of. Well, that explains everything. See, there you go. It's my illusion. I can paint it any color I like. Right. And um, what is living a long time? Yeah. Depends on the person, I would suppose. You know. But hey, we're all taught that it's important. Well, yeah, they try to convince you that, but. Either way, even even the longest living person is just here for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I understand all oh, the understand. principles behind that. But it's not easy to get an agreement out of a, an average Joe on the street, so to speak. Like if that Mark Dice guy did a, a video of it and asked a random amount of people a certain question, they couldn't answer it. And you just see it, no, nobody, it, the apathy and the lack of intelligence is just rampant. Right, well, people are wrapped up in their own little realities. Yep. Aren't we, then, so or are we are then, their right? Their little fictions. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> wow. At least I share my fiction with somebody, so I'm not completely, you know, all whacked out in my own little bubble. I got a bubble for two. <laughs> <laughs> That worked yeah. out. 7.5 billion realities. Isn't that something? And yours matters most because it's yours. Yep. Now, and that's taught. We're told that's being selfish. Come on, Greg. The, the truth is. Real. But it, even, right. And even, even within your dual bubble where you're, you're sharing your bubble with sir, <laughs> yeah. you're still in your own bubble. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In her, worlds within worlds. No, you, yeah. you and her don't exactly believe the same things. You no, know, no, no. No, we're, there's a lot less friction. We're very similar in the overall mental, you know. Like, uh, having to teach me about a mortgage would be a pain in the ass. What do you mean we don't own this? Of course we do, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't own fucking anything. You pay taxes on it. The people that you pay the taxes to, they own it. And that's how it works. And, and if you don't believe they own it, just try not paying. They're, right. And the simplest, and yet still, 
the voter, will come back defending the beast against you. And I, to oh, yeah. this day, I sure tell, talk shit to Hans about how, you know, the Republican parties is a bunch of nitwits just like the Democrats are. And, uh, no, no, you don't understand. And I can just see the damn thing just go to hell. Even Clay was attacking him earlier today. Oh, man. We're, we're such a... Uh, the collective is so diverse. Yeah. But people don't seem to be uh, good with the differences, you know? The difference is really just a bunch of bullshit in the first place. Why bother with it? I, I think what the what the politicians represent is the exact opposite of what I want. How do you tell people that? You go, well, you walk on the street, don't you? And my roads, the electric lights, so that you don't walk in the dark. You know, shit like that. I don't give a fuck about walking in the dark. It doesn't bother me any. But. The Actually, rest sure. of these pussies. <laughs> no, Robbo, he's being a smart ass, you know, but, but the rest of these pussies, they gotta have lights on at night. I mean, damn. Yeah. What's with them? <laughs> they flashlights for. <laughs> hey, even the joggers, that they got people, because it gets dark early, and it'll be getting dark earlier soon. Uh, the joggers have, like, uh, little flashers that go off light flashers so they don't get hit by cars. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that just made them a target. <laughs> no, no. At, th these people are actually nice to each other. Depends on how you look at it. No, it depends on how you drive at it. You know, in America, they're moving targets, and out here, they're, hey, that could be grandma. You better move. <laughs> don't run over grandma. She's jogging. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a, so it's a different kind of yeah it's different it, it's slower <laughs> this it's, yeah Cirque's got a light for Hannah when they did go out in the dark Hannah's got a little blinking green light that goes on and off <laughs> <laughs> looks like a cop car <laughs> our, our version of the popo <laughs> <laughs> the the Alpo Eaton cop. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But oh man, okay, <laughs> man. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> People got to have something to do out here. Walking your dog. So you know you can't walk a dog in, in the dark and not let people know it's it's a dog out there. They could run it over. That would be horrible. Well, how, <laughs> could you imagine? How long is the leap? Oh, it's not that bad. Ten feet, maybe. So, uh, yeah, she's not going for And it, I can hold the dog back. She's not that big. It's Cirque that can't <laughs> hold the dog, not me. Poor right. poor dog. If the dog would have done what she did with me, I would have just held the, the, um, held the, the uh, leash. <laughs> Wouldn't have broke any fingers. No, thank you. But Cirque isn't me, so she reacted differently, and it, it went with it. It went the other direction. She, you know, she didn't. She's not powerful enough to keep the dog back. Not, you know, not on like out of nowhere. Some women don't have those kind of. Yeah, small. She's a small you, dog. Well, she's about thirty pounds. Thirty yeah, pounds of scared big. dog would knock me down. If, you know, but. Uh, I think I could hold the leash, but not. we're small people. This is a, to us. She's like a mid-sized, mid-sized dog. We're of the short persuasion over here in Denmark. We we don't. What is that? Six two and one hundred and eighty pounds. <laughs> nah, I'm not even close to that. You know, but I'm the guy that brings a toothpick to a gunfight. And how tall is Sir? Oh, and she's smaller than me, and I'm five four. Oh. So live in one of those like hobbit houses. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It's about. It's pretty. It's big enough for us. I think, <laughs> but yeah, kind of. It looks like that. I should take some pictures of the house sometime for that, but maybe later. But yeah, kind of a hobbit house because some of the neighborhood looks like that. 
I was supposed to, I've been doing these damn puzzles, right? And I, it just dawned on me the other night, I was walking around looking at, and I really like looking at these old houses, Some something about them, they never get old. And I got one particular, it's a favorite down by where they uh, have a dog food store, sell pets, pet supplies and stuff like that. Mm. And this this one house is built out of brick, and it's it's not on a p- flat piece of land. It's really on a just like you could walk around the house, and that's all the land that they sold <laughs> with the house. But it's a really nice looking old house. I'll put up a picture of it sometime and, and make a reference to it because it was numbered 1933. And it, every time I see that, it gets my attention in the bricks. So I don't know why I wanted to mention it, but it's really a to me a nice piece of work. And I live in this crap, so I didn't grow up here. So being here sometimes is like, wow, this is weird. You know, the I difference bet. between yeah, the difference between North Carolina and Scotland was incredible, but co- coming to Denmark was even weirder. Then it really got. <laughs> And then the, going to the country and moving out here and living here, that was the cake. Didn't expect that. Because I, I was just teasing Circle one day about it in the, in the summertime. I said, you know, in 10 years, this will be just as bad as L.A. <laughs> and she said, yeah, <laughs> maybe you're no. right. Yeah, she did. And she knew what I meant. Not not violent. It just crowded and uncomfortable. And after a while, you get sick of the crowds. I did. It took me a lot of years, but I finally got there. Yeah. Well, if I I was only joking around about the thing. I didn't mean anything by the comment. I was just making a pass in judgment. What I foresaw coming, and she took me to to heart. That's kind of why we're still together. No, it's been, we're coming up on five years. Wow. Really? Yeah, we met, yeah, we had a short thing before we did the legal crap, but yeah, we hit five years together this month. Nice. Yeah, Yeah, well, who who believe it, you know, and all this crazy radio stuff with Vinny and Mary, and now I'm doing this stuff. (laughs) It's too good to be true. Well, it's fun. Up on, uh, and, in December 13th, we met my 16th anniversary with the woman I'm with. Oh, that's 16. That's a lot. That's like three times plus one. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how to register time. I have really always had a problem with seeing the time thing the way other people do and and they I guess when I was working it was easier you could depend on the clock and all that kind of stuff but if I don't see a calendar to this day I forget what day it is from every day I'm up (laughs) I don't know one day to the next and time I can't tell 10 minutes from 4 hours it just depends on what I'm doing yeah. Well, the rest of the world seems to run on a more particular scale. This happens between the hours of this and that. And this happens between these hours. And I've just kind of been, I get around to it when I'm ready. Forever about everything. Except now I got the door table and this yep. to do twice a week. Well, okay, but it's what I wanted to do. It's not like. It's not inconvenient for me to, to put this at a specific time. and eh, It's just part of doing it so you can have a pattern. People like patterns. I like patterns. You like patterns. Nobody? Hmm. So uh, last night, I've been thinking a lot about this frequencies and the vibrations and all that. You know, we've talked about that last week. Right, but I t- I take it, you know. Sometimes I'm I think about stuff that I've talked about with other people. And last night, I was thinking about that when I was falling asleep, and I realized that there's 
I'm blind to the um, to what I see. I have vision problems. When when I close my eyes, I don't see through my eyelids or any of that crazy nonsense. But I still see something. There's still something behind the eyelids that I can see. And I play it like a mental game and visually look at it in my mind's eye, whatever it is, and follow it. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in the morning. And it always, yeah, always works. Don't don't know why, but boom. But I didn't really understand how to explain it. And if that didn't explain it, you wouldn't get it. But that's the best I could do trying to put words to what I'm physically doing. And, and it's all in my mind. There's no, you know, it's not like anything that, um, that takes any kind of movement. So whatever, there's like a world within the world within the world kind of idea. So I close my eyes it, and uh, still can see something. How, how does it get into your mind? Uh, I visually see it. It's like, you know, those swir I've been working on this painting that's painted real loose with um, swirly brush strokes. Okay. You know, that kind of, okay, if you're into art, you might understand. It leaves that swirl to it. And what I visualize in my mind is that, that like, fl whatever they've shown me about flying through space is it's never ending and you keep the keep, you keep going into it. And that's what my mind portrays to me, but I see it. Well, you're in that idea, but your mind may not be within you. I don't know. It's pretty hard to explain in it. I, I don't know. You're out, I just know what other people tell me. You're, you're out there traveling around, and, uh, and you think it's the mind within your body, but it may be the mind out in the whoever, where, wherever. <laughs> Well, have you ever been to the Redwood Forest in California or Oregon, Washington? Wherever. <laughs> what have you have you been to them? I've been have to you ever, in Washington. Yeah, has any you've been to them? When I went to the Redwoods, I felt something weird when I was what the first very first time I went in, I felt something weird happening. That's in Northern physically. California. Yeah, but physically I felt that something was Wow. And I was so small against these huge, gigantic trees. Unbelievable. And how old some of them were. It was just, it was like being a hobbit in the Shire. The same thing is, you know, in Denmark's got its charm like that to me, too. But it's just not in that enormous, overwhelming way. This place was more subtle. And the people are kinder. Well, you're in a small you know, town, so it's a different thing than. Let's say you were. Oh in yeah. Like, I don't know, what's the capital there? Uh, I don't know what the cap is. Copenhagen the capital? Yes. No, it is. Yes, she says it is. Yeah. I forget. So I'm not good there, at geography. If they have people, <laughs> probably be not as quite yeah. nice as they are. That's how yes. much a statist I am. I don't even know what the capital of the country I'm saying <laughs> is. I give a fuck one way or the other. Black All Black played their paper the games. Like yeah. Hey, Munich. I think. Anyway, so. But no, even in the city, it was very. It was pleasant. It wasn't a grind. People were they were in a rush to get places, and some people weren't. So there was like layers of different. You just avoided the the crowded times, and it was a lot easier. But I I don't know. Even with the large crowds, when I was going to uh, Freetown, people ah. They're kinder, less less intrusive. And there, the police presence was so minimal. It was just it was nice. <laughs> yeah, but they sell hash in Freetown, so the cops got to play cop games every now and again. Oh, they well, yeah, they, they love that drug money. Are you kidding me? Can't make them give up their drug habit, now can you? And their drug habit is, you know, arrest them, sell it to them, arrest them. Because <laughs> where else that could the shit come from except through the system? Oh, see you, Rob. Did Rob leave? Oh, yeah, his connection's fucked up, so. Hey. Yeah. 
He said he's going to kick back on the sidelines. Oh, well, I'm sorry. He's having a... Anyway, where are we at on this? Uh, nine, it's uh, 10 minutes till, right? So yep. did we make it through? Yeah, we made it. No, wait. I start at 7, so... This is the first... Okay, I'm with you now. <laughs> okay. Well, I had to toke on my pipe. Is it a one-hour show or two-hour show? Two. Oh, okay. Well, Vinny and me started this idea about in a perfect world, what would things be like? <laughs> and, wow, it's really easy for me. I, I know what the answer is. Go, if you stop lying. And it's not you and me stop lying. It's all these lies that we've been sold, that we've accepted, and they're destroying us slowly. Might take a few hundred years, but at the rate these people are going, they're going to kill us all off. Right. Well, there you go. And when you talk about it, uh, average Joe thinks that you you know, your your exhaust is leaking. You know, you need a you need a new gasket over there, sport, because you're making a lot of noise, but it don't sound very good. Because they want pretty and and happy and all this other shit. That's not that, that's you. You're hearing what you're hearing the way you're hearing it. So if, if somebody tells you something like that. And you get all butt hurt about it. You must be part of the problem. I sound a bit robotic. Yes. <laughs> yet, yet it sounds cool. I got a dork cake, so okay. That's good enough. Hey, we're lucky we can even do this. I, I'm no computer tech, so I might have done something wrong. Loaded something wrong or whatever. Who knows? We'll, we'll sort it out in the end. Oh, it's better than Skype Beetle. Yeah, it is. Well, you guys are looking too, also at the privacy about being uh, off the internet NSA watch list or whatever, whatever the fuck they got. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, in a world where th th we could do anything and this is the shit we do, it's insane. I, I do not understand it. Maybe, uh, what's his name, um, Soros should start, hey, good idea, maybe George Soros should start um, Sorosville, you know, and I think Soros take, wants the world to be Sorosville. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, he, okay, well, I was just using it as an example how useless these fucking people truly are. They mooch off us, and then we're supposed to look up to them like they're doing us a fucking favor. They don't do anything but hoard and accumulate and do nothing for anybody but their own. So I'm personally sick of it. I think it's high time that the Jews come out and face us. <laughs> <laughs> and we we all know that ain't going to happen in not my lifetime. But if you know the truth about this Jew thing, whatever the truth is, it's not good. Let's just say that, right? Right. And there's different, but there's different layers and different attitudes about it. Like, uh, I don't know, like the way that you see a Nazi behave compared to how, I don't know, what's the opposite of a Nazi group? <laughs> uh, um, anarchist. I, yeah, how each of them would would I mean, treat somebody else. If you, if you take a Nazi or any other totalitarian mindset. Yeah, yeah. Flip it the other way, then it's it's anarchy, which is good. Not not. I think so. Not the way anarchy is portrayed by them. Right. 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 I agree. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> he was busy. That's why okay. He was, he was, that's why he was not responding. <laughs> yes. That's okay. <laughs> I was doing it off the mic for a change. Or was trying to. Anyway. <laughs> Metal says I sound robotic. A bit robotic. That cracked me up. So I <laughs> I had to celebrate. Because this is 420 somewhere. He's the flash bot. I guess. What, um, what difference does it make? Come on. I'm not for real. Never mind. I'm just a... I'm just, Never mind what. I'm just a voice on the internet world. Could be anybody. You don't know. And it doesn't matter. What matters is uh, 
the information that you that you're involved in possessing and sharing with other people because that information is really valuable like last week when Rob was telling me about there's a converter to accomplish the end goal of what I want to do I just got to learn how to identify this and then look at the application and see if it's anything I want to do physically and if it's not all sub it out to somebody that does it you mean even for your, your, your Schumann residence generator yeah yeah there's yeah. plenty of those basically mm. yeah. well I never thought I'm not electrical man this is new to me well no but you can also down or, or uh, use a, a frequency generator to to create that Schumann resonance to listen to and get that into your, your head wow see there's all these things and I'm just now learning a little bit more I mean I got the idea from Larry and now I'm starting to get to where I want to apply the information and that takes a little bit of work you got to ask people like you that know what the hell to do it's not as easy as it sounds either you know people some people are shy about I don't know what to do they always want to be right about everything and I'm not one of those people I don't know something I say hey I've got no fucking clue I'm starting off from the very beginning, and that's how I get my best result, because I learned the way that somebody else knows that works. I remember uh, how I used to get jobs and bluff my way in and always say to the guy, well, you, know, you ready to go to work, whatever the shit was, if it was technical or complicated, I'd say, well, show me what it is you want me to do so I can make sure I do it the way you do it, not the way I do it. And that that line always worked. Never found anybody argue. Well, no, your way'll be better than mine. <laughs> Never heard that. I mean, yeah, let me show you how this is done. You can see it done run, done proper. You know that kind of guy. Right. Well, some jobs weren't as good as others, and I, that if you if you're working for that kind of guy, you're better off being on his good side than his bad side. So I've done my slavery. I mean. It, over the years, sure, but I never became, what do you call it, intimidated, you know, just play back, whatever game they were playing, I'll play it, it's fine with me, Doesn't make any difference in the long run anyway. Long lasting things in life are not physical, they, we think they are because we can see them, but nah, the, the stuff that's long lasting is all in your head. I think all of it's in my head, but I don't know. The abilities we have, who knows? Maybe we're kept in, in this uh, second-rate energy shit so that they'll get results like they're getting because we're not sure of any fucking thing. That might be the goal intended. That's the way, what I see. And in a perfect world, they'd tell us the truth and we wouldn't have to live like this. That's what I think. Okay. Anyway, well, it, it's no different than me and Cirque. You know, if if I uh, if I deceive her and lie, then oh, where's that gonna ever go? What kind? You know, that's not a good relationship to have with somebody. No. Nope. Hmm. Some people do it. I know. Well, we all, there you go. Well, me and Cirque don't do it. That's good. <laughs> so, well, that's the weird part. That, this is very strange. If I wasn't actually doing this and somebody else was telling me about it, I'd probably wonder, nah, nobody's got it that good. But I think that it's all in your head. What What's, you know, what makes you feel good is you, it's you, it's not me. I, I like to be responsible for making you feel bad, but come on, let's be realistic. What, what did I do? I said something that somebody else either disagreed with or took personal, didn't like that, and therefore they're mad because it happens to me. I know, you know, from experience, right? And then when you reason it out, you go, wow, does it fucking matter? No. You can go on to the next thing. Just tuned to 54HZ. Okay, 
a simple timing pulse circuit. Yeah. Wow. Low frequencies, low frequency flames can take a lot more current uh -huh. to produce a, a audible sound. And what does that break down to in real layman terms? Well, if you're uh, trying to generate a 10,000 hertz sound, you don't need as much juice, but when you're what you're doing the uh, the low hertz, uh, frequencies, uh, oh. more amplitude in order to, mm. to get to get things. But no, but no waste. No waste. You know where the see that's where the heat comes from. This is the way I understand this, right? The vibration, if it's wasteful, it's what where the heat comes from. Like when you run a, a vacuum cleaner or a hair dryer, all that, that's just electrical waste. That's how it shows itself. It's in heat. You feel, ah, oh, hey, that's hot. You know, you're, you're going to get some heat from the friction of the, of, the, of, the, of the motor spinning. And, and right. Well, you, got the, you got the juice flowing through the wires. In order for the you know magnetic force to get mm -hmm. the thing spinning around, and then you got friction of the parts going you know uh, wherever they're going through the bushings and all of those. Parts. Well, wouldn't wouldn't magnetics eliminate all that all that friction? Wouldn't what? Wouldn't magnetics eliminate all the friction? If if that was the only parts you were using, but they still gotta be able to spin on a something right a spindle of some sort or or if it's a, it's a speaker then it's got to uh, move in and out there and you got less friction there because it's just the uh, the center of the of the coil that moves in and out uh, see it, the it electrical all stuff all yeah it's with complicated with that free this yeah but the smaller things get the harder for some reason the harder for me to follow along right away till I get more experience with the idea. And this is new, so wow. My hat's off to you, Grimner. You and Rob tell you. And Moose, if you're following along all the way, wow. You guys got me all beat. <laughs> well, somebody needs to know this stuff, right? Well, I didn't know I needed to know it. Somebody had to tell me, hey, look at this. And I went, what? Oh. Schumann resonance. Okay, what's that? Well, you find out and you'll go, holy shit. And I did. But I don't understand from experience. I'm just, wow, this is blowing my mind away at the moment. Yeah, the thing that, uh, it's kind of messing with me on the whole Schumann deal is apparently that, that was the frequency, uh, 7.83, but it's accelerating. It's it's moving from from the standard frequency that was determined that this is the frequency of the earth or the or the human mind uh, of 7.83 and now it's climbing from there so something i don't know i don't quite understand um why 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 would the frequency of the earth change why would the frequency of the brain the the resonant frequency change I mean, it, Outs it, it sounds like it's outside. A right? Well, outside forces, so to speak, you know, something external. To change the frequency would have to be something invading its territory. So I, I don't know. How do you put it? I don't know how to explain what I'm thinking any better than that. It's pretty rough. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, but when two things try to occupy <coughs> the same place at the same time. Okay, I think that's a different topic. Well, yeah, but you get friction. You know that, and then you get heat. But some things run and they make excessive weight. You know, excessive heat. The way I understand it, you can burn things up that you wouldn't if you did it properly. Okay. Because, you know, I've, I've had uh, 
I used to start fires on the beach, cleaning up driftwood and shit, and just burn it up. It was harmless. The people that, you know, the city didn't mind. It was like, hey, hey it's just him down at the beach burning up some firewood. And I did this every night for months and months. Okay. <laughs> but, well, I, I don't know. Something you said brought it back to mind. Just freedoms that I used to have that I probably wouldn't use now. <laughs> Too old. I just go out in the backyard and do it now. You have fires in your backyard? Yeah, I got a fire pit back there. We can do whatever we want. Just it's a matter of, you know, common sense. It's not huge. It's just but you go out there, I can make it warm enough for me and Cirque to sit outside. And do you have barbecues out there on that fire? Or? No, not that fire. We got a barbecue. We're old fashioned. She wants me to build her a, f a barbecue, so I have to l learn how to do that. Maybe for this after this uh, winter time, maybe the spring come around. Because bricks are good, man. And people here cook. These fuckers know how to cook. I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, Cowboy Tech posted this link there on the Schumann residence, the Sedona effect. Uh, and it says. Earth's background bass frequency or heartbeat, the Schumann resonances, fluctuates but is not rising dramatically despite a new age meme that alleges it. So maybe it's not changing, and which would make more sense uh, because to me, the physics of. Right. It's not possible. Yeah, right. you, can't, you can't. Yeah. I mean, if that's yeah. the resonant frequency of a particular object. Uh, or material, then that it's going to stay that. But it says here, uh, the authors have been ab unable to substantiate the rising Schumann residence in the literature, and Ben Lone Tree's ratings directly contradict it. Schumann residence is stable; it is not rising. Those who say it is are ignorant, or dis, or misinformed, and uh, parroting the mistakes and lies of others. Though it varies between geographical regions for decades, and the overall measured uh, measurement has remained at 7.8 cycles per second, which apparently it should be 7.83, uh, but they, they, I guess they rounded it down <laughs> to 7.8, which if you're uh, familiar with getting things to resonate, you don't really want to round. That, that, that's... That's uh, that's the wrong way to go. I'll take your word for it on this one. Yeah, well, I, I used to do uh, vibration and acoustic testing, and so I'm pretty familiar. You're, with, uh, you're more familiar. Yeah, I could tell. Sure. But, I mean, Karma, I wish Hans would come on here and, and explain to us why is sex bot so, such a good idea. <laughs> you know, but I'll take you anyway. You make you make more sense, but he's more funny, you know. When it comes to comedy, no, I my mind drifted, and I just thought of Hansel being on the show with us, <laughs> telling us just why Trump is so wonderful. But you know, he Goober never takes. Yeah, but Goober's insane. He he wants to shoot planes down out of the sky. No, that's not my... No. <laughs> that's crazy. Please. I, I'm just not... I, I'm not mean like that. I don't think I've ever been that, that mean. Maybe one-on-one -on -one for a real good reason. But Nah, in a group? Nah, fuck that shit. Violence is a bad idea. There you go. Are, are you uh, resonating over there, Moose Girl? Uh, I'm doing something. <laughs> maybe, maybe she's maybe she's vibrating. Not sure if I'm resonating or what, but <laughs> well, you know, I, I do find it interesting. Breathing. Uh, uh, human resonance that it would be the same for the Earth as it is for the human mind. That mm. both resonate at the same frequency. Or the heart, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I've never read that the heart is the same frequency. Okay, so like the, what do they use you know I mean? to That's rate what I'm it? Of, like the heartbeat itself. 
what oh. they use to rate it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're if it's on a frequency, that means there's a number attached to it or some kind of a well, 7 .8, paper trail. 7.83 hertz. That's the... Okay, so they but they use the hertz scale to measure all these things. Sure. Cycle. Oh, okay. well, yeah, Rob taught me that last time. He said, you know, now it's, it's different. Things changed. And... You know, I'm an older guy, so I missed a lot of years about all this change. It didn't inter it didn't never interest me, and now that it does, I'm a little slower than I was 30 years ago. It's you know the it's the price you pay for growing up. It took me a while. <laughs> growing up does that mean you're like adulting? <laughs> I in some areas I try. You know, sure. You can't be a you can't be a child at all the time because you know then you you you'd be out of control with no nah you got to have a little uh, maturity about you it, it doesn't take much simple rules you know keep your hands off strangers you know common sense things you just don't do you know don't walk up and push people i mean that's just stupid yeah be nice it's real easy and, and you know what else is when you look like I do, it surprises the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, I, well, depending on the person, I would be an intimidating person to encounter in, in public out of bumping into me. Go, whoa, whoops. <laughs> because the length of the hair, and that's it. And I'm small. Cause, so small people just, I don't know. We get the same treatment that tall people get, just different. You know, it's like a reverse of it. But it, we get the same the same awkwardness out of people that are the you know average between the tall and the short. And Cirque is my size, <laughs> so she understands what I mean, and you know, how it applies in in physical life. All these little things about shit that. I would never talk to other people about except on the radio about it. <laughs> it would never come up. You have to really be in a perfect world or a dork table to to take the time to think of it. You know, because we're running at, you know, speeds and paces and hurrying. So slowing down to dork speed is it's not for everybody. Nope, everybody's different. Everybody's got to have their own little deal going. Well, is, there seems to be a balance point that, um, let's say the voting public takes that I don't take. That's the difference between the anarchist and the voter. And these voters think that I believe there's a group of anarchists. And I don't give a fuck if there is a group of anarchists or not. I don't live with them. <laughs> I don't see them. I don't interact with them. So that's not the fucking issue here. The issue is very simple. I don't need you to tell me what's good for me based on a bunch of bullshit. And that's what I get from my tax dollar. That's what I've always gotten from my tax dollar. Nothing less, nothing more. They, they want to control. That's all, that's, what it's all about is controlling everybody. Well, if I got away, what... It, see, that's... this. The confusion to me is I don't see where other people couldn't not comply if they just didn't. They comply because they don't know there's an option. There's no opt-out. There's no, hey, this is the truth about this shit. We're skinning you like a potato, and you're letting us, and you can't stop us. What? I got a, a what do you call the Constitution? No, you don't. <laughs> I got my civil rights. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> and then if you ever get arrested you'll find out where your civil fucking rights are they're a piece of paper that somebody read to you because they don't happen it's nonsense well people think the constitution applies to them just because they've been told it does but if you look at it it doesn't unless you're part of the government that's the only people it applies to that's the only people it was actually written for but they spread out the rumor that yeah the constitution applies to everybody but uh, you could obviously tell it doesn't because 
uh, every bit of that constitution has been uh, usurped, I guess, done away with. I, I don't know even yeah. uh, I look at it, but I mean, uh, you, you don't have freedom of speech. There's there's all kinds of things that, you, that you're not allowed to say. You don't have freedom of press. There's a bunch of crap you can't print or, or, or broadcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have gun rights, obviously, oh, because... Uh, I mean, look at all the the tricks you have to go through to 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 obtain a firearm. It's it's all kinds of crazy stuff, and you got to register, and and uh, this oh, thing will not be infringed. But they every everything they do with guns is an infringement. Uh, I, I guess the the Third Amendment, the of the Third Bill of Right, right um, about not quartering soldiers in your house. I guess that one's not been really, uh, as far as I know, uh, they haven't really trampled on that uh but the fourth amendment your right to privacy come oh, on <laughs> and, you, and you can go through the rest of them all, all the rest of the the, 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 right. the the big ones there that are supposedly the bill of rights they don't apply to you mm, i'm so sad now <laughs> well thanks oh, for like telling you, me like you didn't like you weren't aware of that <laughs> yeah well if I told you how old I was when I was made aware, you will probably doubt it. Hey, if you tell me it, I believe you. <laughs> yep. Why would you? It was ni- 1973, and I got uh, I had run away from home. This is the very last time I I'd done this to my my folks. You know, I was leaving home to get away from them, and blah blah blah. It was crazy. Anyway, the cop that caught me it was uh. Wow, I was driving somebody's car, and it was pretty bad. Anyway, at first I didn't want to tell him who I was because I didn't want to go back to L.A. <laughs> and this cop was smart. He said, fuck you, damn, you don't have any rights. And he took his billy club and he slammed it down on the desk ne- you know, right next to where I was, letting me know that he's willing to hmm, persuade me to, to do what he wants. Persuade. <laughs> That's a kind way of saying it. <laughs> he didn't. Well, he didn't get violent and hit me. He was just letting me know that if I was going to be a tough ass, that he was going to hit me. Yeah. So I took. I took that. Well, I was thirteen. You know, and this poor cop didn't want to be fucking around with. I'm not even a criminal. I'm wasting his fucking time. It, you know, now I'm a grown man. I look back at it and see for what it truly was. You know, well, he's oh. fucking around with me over this bullshit because I ran away from home like an idiot <laughs> instead of him out there, you know, helping people that need help. And underneath the, the whole situation is that. So this guy doesn't want to sit here all night babysitting my ass. So he took a club and he slammed the table. Yeah. And I talked like Freak. I talked like a little girl at a 15-year-old party, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gave it all up. Rob says here in the chat that the Third Amendment has also been violated, um, which uh, I'm not really surprised by. I'm not familiar with any of the uh, instances where that happened. But uh, in the Third Amendment, I'm pretty sure it says no quartering of soldiers during peacetime. Uh, Quartering of soldiers in private residences during peacetime. But since Uh the United States has been in a state of war since... 1911 or however long ago it was. 186, 18, 1860. Civil All right. War. So since the, yeah. the... Lincoln never... He never signed it off. And so we've been under martial law since 1860. All they got to do to keep it alive and not write it, wa- write it off is to declare war on something every two years. And it keeps okay. that state, that that mental game of that alive. Sure, and they and they use that. What, what do they call that bill? That they that they keep on pushing back through the uh, NDAA. Is that it? No, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It started out the Patriot Act, and it turned into the National Defense and something Act, and NDAA. I believe you're right there. Yeah, but it's just you know, open your prison, smile for the camera, and give us a blood sample. You know, we want to know who you are. You might be a Alien. What the fuck? <laughs> Who wants to live like that? You know, that that's overcrowding people. You're being overpopulated by by a you know, a plan. 
you think this is all you know, random and happenstance this is not these politicians are actors just pretending to do what you want and they're not doing anything that you want look at the laws you're drinking fluoride and you're eating gmos and the gmos and the fluoride are okay but you're human which is an animal so eh fuck off living in the human Go- zoo yeah, well, the truth of what human is defined as is animal. It's Beast. terrible. Beast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. How does that make you feel, Moose? I mean, come on, you're the girl. I'll be right back. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm the girl. I'm not a girl. I don't know how I'd feel about it. I'm a about guy, what? So I look what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> you said a lot. <laughs> I don't. No. Where's your mind going tonight? Eh, hey, we're in a perfect world. You got I'm just listening. <laughs> how's, just listening. How, how's the dog hunting going? Is that happening? Uh, it's not going too good. Is it you or is it the lack of the dog? It's the lack of choices of dogs ah, at this well, time. Hmm. But well, maybe yeah, it's winter time. Huh? One will come along. You never know. Or maybe you'll rescue something. I mean, the place that I've gone three times now, it's over an hour drive to get there. And it's like, Ouch. it's no. kind of a long ways to go to come back yeah. empty handed. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to go back there or just wait and see if something closer comes along. But um, I'll find one eventually. Back on the dog alert. Yeah, well, Cirque took Hannah out for a little walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I see that, I think of you and your dog. And Yeah, yeah I miss my dog, but... Well, of course you do, but... Yeah. You know. I'd have... Whoops. But anyhow, you're going to get another one, because that's what humans Eventually, do. Eventually, but... I will, yep. Yeah. So do you like being called an animal by the law? <laughs> Not really. I mean, they call you whatever <laughs> they want. Sorry, <laughs> animal. Yeah. yeah, there you well, go. Some people... I don't... I don't appreciate it. I mean, I'm, it's I'm true. Little... Humans are mammals. No, it, it's not true. We got a consciousness that is superior. But humans to are mammals. Animals, maybe so, but they still lack that c- consciousness that we have. We're able to choose who we uh, associate with, and they're not. They're animals. They can't walk away from where they're at and just go live somewhere else. They 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 live in a specific environment for a reason. Well, you they know, they exist on in, instinct. They survive via instinct, which humans do yeah, that too. If it's yeah. if they're in face with a certain situation. No, you, you definitely humans live within a specific environment as well because right. You're 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 existing under the control of uh, those that claim they have the authority to control you. Uh, yep. Of course, the governments of the world. Um, so, you if you try to exist outside of that environment, they'll do all they can to drag you back in and make you right that you are not this free. <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I say just you know paint your prison a pretty color and get comfortable because that's all it is, and that's life. It's not a a good or a bad assessment. It's just a, an identifying assessment. So the best and you it, can do it, is just make the best of it, play their game as much as you have to, and pretty much you, you know, know I'll be as happy yeah. as you can and say fuck it, you know. That's what my wife. T- yeah, you know, my wife has is. got that it's, shit it's down. It's the way it is. How do you do that? You just Jeez, do it. You I... do what you got to do to to survive. I mean, it's it's if it's a game, then it's about survival. And if you don't play the game to a point, they will do like what Grim said. They'll throw oh, yeah. you in in prison yeah. or whatever, yeah. and you know, make your life a living hell. Wow. So you got to play the good. game a cer- to a certain point. And no one's ex- exempt. Like you said, if you try to live outside of their system, mm. they do not like that. And they will do whatever mm. they can to make it very difficult for you to live outside of their system. Like, mm. let's say you want to draw, you don't want to pay license plate tab fees for your vehicle because 
God damn it. It doesn't say you have the freedom to travel unrestricted. <laughs> it's not for commercial use, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to get harassed. If you get pulled over, <laughs> you don't have a license on you or even <laughs> updated tabs. That's why you get pulled over because you didn't update your license plate tabs. Or maybe you're not. You're like, fuck it. I don't even need a license plate. You know? So good luck, though, because they're going to harass the fuck out of you. <laughs> And you'll you'll have to explain every time that cop pulls you over. You have to be like, okay, well, this is the deal. I am not traveling for commerce right now. I'm traveling for my own personal, because you know, my own personal recreational use. I'm not doing business on this traveling trip here, and I don't have to have a license. I don't have to have a license plate even, or license plate tabs for that matter. Good luck. Right. You know, I, I, good luck getting that cop not to beat your fucking ass for one thing <laughs> because they'll be like oh whatever I'm hauling you down you can explain yeah. that to you the fucking judge <laughs> you know it's not That's gonna work wow. you have so you have to play the game by having that license and having that license plate and having those license plate tabs or they will harass the fuck out of you and you'll be dealing with jail and dealing with judges and You'll have to end up probably going to the fucking Supreme fucking court. Something, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Supreme court. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, that's <laughs> it's fucked up. It's rigged, and you got to play it to a certain point. Yeah. And now you don't want to deal with them. Fine. That's why I try not to do anything that's illegal. <laughs> you know? Because I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. The, I understand the story, but it's it's making me laugh because it's so unimportant. You got some hardcore people out there. Well, you don't really have to have a license, and you don't really have to have license plate tabs because we got freedom to travel as long as you're not doing commerce. Yeah, let's tell that to the cop. <laughs> See how he likes your answer. Because yeah. odds are that fucking cop don't even fucking know that. <laughs> This is the case, you know. He's no. just following his orders and doing his job. <laughs> you know, he's not, he's not like in knowledgeable of the Constitution or wherever it says that you have the right to do this. You know, unless it's for commerce. I don't think anywhere it says that, other than the fact of uh, if you went to the Ninth and or Tenth Amendments, uh, mm -hmm. mostly the Ninth, saying that anything not stated herein is a freedom of the people that that is each person right uh, an individual of course like i said the constitution doesn't apply to you so <laughs> right <laughs> so but we've been told like you said graham earlier we've been told that it does apply to us you know? right that, and that's what people believe that. people you know but you, th then again, when you go to court, you can't use it. Oh, of course not. Of course not. No, until you get to no. SCOTUS, then you can use the USC. But until SCOTUS, right. you have Admiralty Court. They don't use this, they don't use it in Admiralty Court. <laughs> no, you got to when what, I've listened to everybody pitch their version of the explanation of what that is, and it's wow, it's a scam. And we're all, it's all through your signature. That's how they do the legal system. And that's it. It's all done on paper. And whatever becomes physical of it is because you agreed to something on paper. So your signature is the most valuable thing you got. I don't usually get a lot of people to agree with that, but that's what I think. Of all the things that I have in life, that are physical, my signature is the, the power. That's where it all comes from. Which is very odd to me. Signature. Well, <laughs> can't get it. Yeah, but you, if you define the word, if you find out it's not good. But when you get a, a passport, for example, or a copy of a, another document that state owns, <laughs> uh, they charge you a fucking arm and a leg for it. And, you know, then you got delivery services to deal with it's a it's a, just a money grubbing you know, know what you're talking about do your own research it could take take however long and right but you, know, you just things... to get to the supreme court you need a lawyer that's willing to take the case <laughs> and willing to fight it 
fight this issue, which it's a huge issue, obviously. The DMV, each state's going to be like, hell no, we need this money, buddy. We need the license plate money. We need the license tab money. We need the li- the vehicle registration money. You can't change this. This is the way it is. And You're not going to change make, it. It's not going to get fixed. Do they do they make these labels and stickers in prisons? <laughs> yeah, my idea was a long time ago. You know, is to people stop paying for that license, those licenses, the license itself. License plate and the license plate tab. They can't pull everybody over. If everyone's driving around with expired tabs, well, who the, they're just gonna, you know, I'm just saying it, it, it's they make it purposely hard to change anything for the better. Right. Yeah. They make it really. purposely hard, and mm-hmm. you gotta know because they they can hire, they can have five lawyers on their team compared to your one lawyer. I mean, it. You got to really know what you're doing in order to fight them from within their system. Yeah, and they call that honesty. It's just another hustle. They call that. Yeah. We're we're being three card moneyed right in front of us, and we're we know it. And if you say it out loud, people yell at you. What are you talking about? The government's been not bad for us, you dumbass. Uh, yeah, right. Look around. I mean, am I seeing different results than this other guy? Are we not looking at the same exact fucking messed up world, this ball of shit <laughs> that doesn't work? It works badly, and it could be repaired so easily. And No, that's and wrong. That... It can't be repaired easily. I don't know where you're yes, getting it that. Can. Let's, Stop it's using oil. Easy thing. It, sure. Yeah, it's easy to fucking say that. Just stop I doing do. this. Stop doing that. People are like, well, we just need to stop feeding the beast. We need to blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's easier said than done. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is it? Yes, it is. Easier Why? to say. Anyone can say anything they want at any time. Words are words. Actions are what backs up words. So yeah. anyone can sit there and say anything they fucking want. It's just what are they, what action are they taking to back up the words that they have said. I don't use It's easy to spew things out and to type things out from a keyboard into a chat room. I mean, that's easy. Anybody can fucking do that if you know how to type. Yeah. I don't use gas. I'm just saying. Well, that's my support is I live up to my, my boycotts are as real as I can keep them. Roundup, I don't do that. I don't do Oil. that. I, I do whatever oil it says mandated because all this shit's all made through legal. All this crap we're using. Whenever they tell me to do something, I know that I should yeah. do the exact opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like I'm when they're telling me to get a flu yeah. shot, I'm like, uh, no, oh, no, I'll pass. No, no, no. no thanks. They're, I mean, they're yeah. trying to force flu, flu shots down everybody's throat. And they use fear tactics to get you to do it. They use all kinds of tactics. Oh, free. Really? It won't cost you a thing to get a flu shot. Yeah, I see. Get it right now. <laughs> Step I right see, up. The, the new thing uh, I saw most is mm-hmm. go get a free flu shot, and they'll give you a free turkey. <laughs> Ooh, see? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, hormone pumped genetically. When they're doing that stuff. I'm like, oh shit! I gotta steer clear of that. I wow. ain't doing that because yeah, they're, they're that. telling me to do it. <laughs> Well, no, it was like a like a giveaway thing. It were tr- they were tricking yeah. people into it. It wasn't even I mean, oh, yeah. honest. So what I mean about it? if we didn't live with all this bullshit, we wouldn't have these results. It's just basic, like like uh, a law of life. You, if you tell the truth, you tell the truth. But we don't have that. We've got lies going in from the beginning. So even if you're honest, you're still you're basing your honesty. On this fucking Jewish interest life that we live, you know, where the the banks make money by giving you money. <laughs> it's all about the banksters. I mean, it's it comes down to that all the time. Right. You know, the Arabs don't do it. Don't do all what? these countries that that are being invaded and destroyed by the United States because they're terrorists. And they, what they do is they they trade in fucking gold and. 
they don't charge interest on their banking. They got different shit going on. And the Americans and the, the British and the Germans and all that that like it like it is get pissed off and they go in and kill them. Yeah, there you go. People don't want to live and let live. They want uh, they want to destroy shit. So they, they feed this public this bullshit story and they believe it and the next thing you know that country doesn't exist anymore where'd all the people go Europe <laughs> we sent them to Paris baby <laughs> and that's what's at yeah, Germany and France England and, uh, apparently Sweden supposedly took a big amount of them in and, well that's all from your fucking wars what do you want <laughs> Right. You treat people like that, they're going to fucking move in your backyard when you're done bombing their house. It's stupid. <laughs> but that's the way we live. This is the, the mentality of the modern day man. Well, we'll just bomb their civilization to rubble. <laughs> That'll fix it. Oh, man. We're never going to get out of this. I don't see an end to it. I just. When you look at how obvious that Palestine was a land grab, and here I am, one of those fucking not want to be Jews, you know, the nose thing and all that crap. But man, what a bunch of lunatics! They think they're special chosen people. Are you out of your fucking mind? Nobody's nobody is special. Period. End of it. Look at look around. We're just people, right? Hmm. But. I think the point of the whole thing is to maybe find somebody else that you think is special. Not for you to think of yourself as, you know, beyond what's normal. I mean, you got to have an ego. You can't survive and thrive without thinking good of yourself. It's how you explain how a wonderful person you are without bragging about how a wonderful person you are. You're still, I don't know, I guess people are nice and they, they want to be good and they, they do that. They do that. <laughs> and people that want to be bad or they tend to be like obnoxious and rude I was passing a dork judgment on the in a perfect world show but hey you know in a perfect world I, I would probably go along with the group <laughs> so the group wouldn't be all bent out of shape because apparently I don't know about the rest of you youngins but if you don't go along with the group, somebody will call you names. Yeah, well, yeah. Some people yeah. live on conflict. Yeah. Well, okay, well, can't you um, debate the, just the differences without getting all stupid about it? That's what bothers me. I'm not talking about you guys here, but I'm just saying in life, you know, in overall life, sometimes people are just a bit negative. But not so much on my uh, my radio programs. I usually have fun with the guests. I think Vinny had me on a show with a couple of guys that wanted to give me grief because of differing opinions. Like, I say fuck nuclear up the ass with a stick. And this other guy's trying to tell me how ignorant I am because it, it, they're going to improve nuclear. <laughs> They're going to improve the safety. Well, fuck you. No, they need safety, you fucking moron. What, you know, why don't you just go lay down on on the road and, well, maybe the car will run me over. Maybe it won't. We'll leave it to chance. You know, what the fuck is wrong with people? It, nuclear. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I'm in the, uh, the, what, the shallow end of the gene pool on that one. No support. Uh, the right hand, whatever that is. Well, I'm anti-nuclear. I think it's insane. Shouldn't shouldn't do things like that. Those things aren't to be done. It was a mistake. Fuck. Stop. No. What do they do? Thousands of these fucking things, and now they're abandoning them, <laughs> trying to shut them down. <laughs> fucking morons. What were they thinking? Take all that intelligence and waste it. On garbage. All right. Yep. Well, hey, a couple of generations of cannabis, and man, we'd be living, and you'd have to 
uh, sacrifices. What would the right words be? I don't know how to do I just know it could be done through force because, you know, Mother Nature will destroy where you live <laughs> and force you to repair it, you know, like earthquake or hurricane or something like that. And you either you move away from where that happened or you stay there and you enjoy that every time it happens. Right. No? There's people well, on uh, uh, certain riverbanks, Mississippi or wherever, and every few, few years, <laughs> flood it out. And then they were all right at the same spot. <laughs> yeah, it's their land. Uh, but you know what I read, Grim? That uh, if... If you make a, uh, if you have a, a hole in your land or your land is low, whatever, however you explain that, and it's filled in by water, that because it got filled in by water, because you made it happen physically, like with a dredging tool, and you flooded something, mm -hmm. the land underneath it is now belongs to the the government. <laughs> Sure. They, because because you flooded it and put their water on top of your land, so you lose your, your land to them. Your water. <laughs> your, wait, yeah, but you got your land underneath it, but now it's their land, but it's underwater. <laughs> what the? I mean, how technical does this stuff go? I, it's, it's beyond me sometimes to to think that at that level of perception you know where it's minuscule but that's what i mean is i'm against it because it, it rubs me raw to, to i to go that small you know identify something to death like the size of an atom <laughs> it's too much and sadly instead of using the the knowledge we've had for all these years for something good we got this uh please and weren't, weren't you saying that in uh, texas they're doing some form of Tesla uh, what do you, what do you call it they're bringing his work back to the to the the world yeah, they're trying well if they try his gift to the world was electricity here have some electricity enjoy it not putting meters on it was Westinghouse yeah Westinghouse got wind of that, and he said, oh, no, Mr. Tesla, you're finished. We're done talking. And they destroyed him. All that for, what, what year is this? 18. It's been 100 years, give or take. Yeah, 120. No? Yeah, something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly. Well, I tend to believe, I got introduced to Tesla in the late 80s by an electrician friend of mine. Because I didn't know who he was until that. And I went, what? Who's this? And he showed me this uh, DVD film. It was titled uh, Nikola Tesla, Man Out of Time. But I've never been able to figure out a way to go that far back in history and prove it. But I know I saw it. And it was a film. It was an enactment. You know, It wasn't like they made five copies. It, there was plenty of these to be found. But now I can't figure out what it properly was called so I could look it up. But it was in 1987. Nikola Tesla, the man out of time. DVD. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, they had DVDs in 87? No, no, no. It was on um, VHS, on tape. <clears throat> no, no, no. We didn't have DVDs back in those days. Back when I was a young fella. We had to walk five miles through the snow every day to get to school. Uphill both ways. Yeah, in L.A. <laughs> it was a different kind of snow. Yeah. But yeah. even Rob Works even agrees. Wow, we agree on something. I like that. It's showing some hope. I like that. It would be nice if we didn't... Uh, disagree with each other all the time about stupid shit and can enjoy stuff but I don't know some of us got a funny way of expressing ourselves <laughs> you know and other people don't like it yeah. isn't that weird I don't know well 
people think what they think. What you, let me, what do you make of it? What makes people tick? Do you think it's a clock? Or, <laughs> what What makes Grim tick? Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Oh, that would be weird, huh? If you could figure out how you work, I wouldn't want to know all that. I'm not that self-absorbed. Um, I need outside influence or I'd completely go insane. Jeez, just thinking about myself all the time. <laughs> With the Jew thing, holy shit. It was a lot. I'd never, I'd never have time for you. <laughs> there, was, there was a line in the movie uh, Dogma, and I forget the character. I think I think it was Chris Rock playing the the, the character, some angel guy, the Black Angel, yeah, yeah. Rufus, Rufus, Ruf. Yeah. Okay, so you remember he says, "There's the difference between beliefs and ideas." Um, the fact that a, b a belief is the kind of thing that people will die and kill over. But an idea, an idea is great because you can change your idea. You can think differently about those. But when once people get that into a belief, then, then it becomes a huge problem. Because their <laughs> brain, thought processes, their, their being... See, there's more to this wavelength thing than we're in, uh, informed of. You know, being aware of it is one thing, but a, a group being aware of it's a different thing. It proves itself. Look at a Trump rally. Here's all these different kind of people, right? That would never, they'd never pair up in in reality. They're very different. But this Republican thing makes these monsters recognize each other <laughs> and, and and it grows and, and with its growth it it's like a void and it doesn't stop it's I, horrible i don't understand the whole well, trump thing but um what, what i have noticed about the whole trump thing is that a lot of people prior to him that thought of themselves as actual freedom uh seekers uh, anarchists or uh, maybe even libertarian, if if you want to go to the minarchist uh, thought process, there slid back from that. They they be they were like sucked back into the machine and believing that somehow that this guy, which Trump is totalitarian as much as any any of the previous ones or the coming ones, but they think that he is like an answer. To, to solving the issues of what they are calling a deep state, which I call a shadow government situation. Um, so I, I don't understand how, how they got sucked back in to all that because uh, during the, all the previous time up until he was put in there, uh, they, they were at least embracing to a, to a degree the idea of individual sovereignty individuals having rights and now now they're they're back into this oh well you gotta have laws and and you gotta have rules and everybody's gotta follow them and it's like w w what happened to you what what happened and, there, and there's a, a lot of people that wound up doing that that going that way and uh, i'm sure i'm not the only one that recognized that or noticed that but uh, it's 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 disturbing to me that Maybe they were just going along that way because uh, there was the whatever, whatever uh, during Obama or something like that. They said, oh, this guy's terrible. We got to reject all government. And then when you get this next clown in, that's going to do the exact same thing. There's no change from any any of these so-called leaders uh, that, that because this other guy talks differently, even though he's doing the same things. How does that work? How, how does, how, how do people, because uh, I didn't think anybody could ever slide back in uh, once once they saw, you know, the, the reality of the fact that they, they are being controlled and manipulated by these people, by this government, by whichever. Rob Works is pointing out here in the chat that Trump is more totalitarian than most of them. 
but it, it's not even up to him. He doesn't even get the pick. He's he's just the guy. He's just he's just the sham wow salesman. It's like Obama, yeah, he, just like Bush was, just like Clinton was. It's like reading a script. Yeah, yeah. He they um, just write the script in his style, so it sounds like he's saying it. Right. Doesn't matter. Just it's the what. It doesn't matter what he says. It's him saying it. It's done a certain way to appeal to a certain crowd, and it works. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're just fortunately not we're we're aware of it, but yet we're not uh, we're not part of that crowd. I don't I don't see you as a, a follower of the Republican agenda, if you want to put it like that. I do. I don't want to put it like that. Well, it's not and the Republican. It's, and it's it's the it's the global banking the other, agenda is what it is. Well, and, and then that in itself is a big illusion too. I mean, it's done, but it's it's so big you can't really wrap your your understanding of it is limited. Mine is maybe maybe yours isn't. I I don't mean to accuse you of that. I'm just saying I only see what I see, and this global shit ah, it's out way beyond me. Doesn't even interest me, and somehow I I've managed to uh, avoid the pitfalls of the advanced modern age. I'm not addicted to things that I can't live without. Well, I mean, if you can't live without it, then you are kind of addicted. I mean, like well, air, water? <laughs> no, I'm not being unreasonable. I mean, like the electronic life that I got where I can push a button and find out anything I want to know in just mere seconds. Well, you, you know? live without that. Or if I want to look at Portugal and see a certain city, I can Google a map and get a... It's an, just an incredible world, what we got in front of us. Ooh. Then I get to the shit what, that they make popular is kids riding in, in uh, or what was it, Oregon, Portland. Hey, let's all laugh at Beetle. Ah, hey, ah, Beetle. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> anyway, but... You know they're fighting in the streets over political stands, and I thought, wow, that's that's the bottom of it. You know, that's that's a society that's completely fallen the fuck apart. Its representation is resorted to physical violence, and that's okay with the. That's it. That's where we are. Wow. Hope it doesn't spread. I hope not too. Well, chances are good that some of you know idiots copy each other. It's like a virus. It's like a like reciting a how you know that the United States went to the moon when they didn't. But you saw it. Da, 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 I saw a picture, and I know you didn't. None of the shit we saw was real. It's all bullshit. I saw, I I saw it in the movie uh, Independence Day where they blow up to you know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks real to me. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to know the answer to this too. Is in, in eight was it eighteen fourteen? The English burned Washington to the to the ground. Right. And they destroyed everything in their fucking path. But some magic possible thing happened. Is uh, John Adams managed to save some books and the Constitution? <laughs> I think it's a bunch of shit. Myself, I think the whole thing's a bunch of shit. Well, that whole, you know, the uh, War of 1812, where, you know, that was the finality of it there. Um, just, if anybody thought that the United States was an independent country, uh, th that should have cleared it up for them. That, you know, <laughs> not an independent country. Still up in control of the crown. <laughs> yeah. In politics, and, yeah. you know, that shit comes from it. Wonderful. Wow. I'm glad we don't use politics as a measure of uh, getting along with each other. You know, some people do, but I don't. I don't think it's it's a doorway to it. I, think, I don't think your politics matter. It's the politics that matter. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what side it is. It's the holder. Yeah, we lost. Very, uh oh, did I go all blankety blank? Well, we're at the end of the. We're at the end of a, in a perfect world. We lost Rob Works about midterm <laughs> through the 
course of the evening's extravaganza. But hey, Grimner and Moose Scroll uh, popped in and, and had a little time with us. So it was kind of interesting to hear other things, just random stuff, see what's going on in your head, and talk about stuff that matters. And it matters to me. So I guess that's what matters. <laughs> um, but for all of us to agree about any one thing, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's important. It's not important enough to matter. You know, if you want it to matter, I, I guess you can. But eh, you're on your own. Anyway, so we made it to the end of In a Perfect World. And what this is Tuesday, so tomorrow at night time. Uh, Graham Z comes on with in her rocket chair in uh, the rocket chair podcast. I'm Eastern. I yeah, I forget the time. You want to finish up? Uh, I don't have the schedule. Whatever. Right, but... Grammy is on uh, tomorrow and Friday with Grammy's rocket chair at 7 p.m. Eastern. Myself and the Moose Girl are on at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern on Friday night with the Freakers Ball. Uh, then again, then on Saturday, uh, Flash will be on again with the Dark Table. And, uh, I will be on at noon Eastern on Sunday with the Blues, and we'll be playing the trivia here in the chat. Then at 3 p.m. Eastern will be Hal Anthony behind the, the woodshed, opening up that can of whoop-ass. And then it rolls back around to Tuesday again, and Flash will be right back here. Same bad time, same bad channel. Yeah, never know what's going to happen from week to week. I kind of like that. I wasn't prepared for it, but it was interesting. Yeah, it was it? Well, some people just, it's interesting how you look at certain things a certain way that I don't, I don't look at them at. But I understand them when you explain yourself, but it's not the first and foremost concept for me, you know, so well, that's, I, often, I think other people, I, I often speak, uh, assuming that people understand, but <laughs> I have kind of a twisted mind, so. Nah, well, either I do too, or it's not half as twisted as you think, because it makes sense. It, it's a, a matter of holding on to the authority thing or not, and, you know, if you don't have an enemy, there's no need for authority. Okay. Well, that's the glue to authority. If you have nothing to fear, which is an enemy of some kind, what would you need authority for? I'm going to take a walk to the store, call the cops. I mean, what are they for? If you're not fearing something out there in the environment, what, what purpose do they serve? So the key to the whole thing is to not live in that fear of it. You know, the unknown and bad guys and all that shit. Well, the authority is a fiction. True, but it may, it physically shows up in your person with weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> and and yeah. I would say that the how we like our fiction theme, people love the authority. They demand, oh, man. They demand people yeah. tell them yeah. what to do and how to do it. What they can't do, <laughs> what they're allowed to do. That's the big fiction right there, the authority. Right. But then they're, in their mind, in the way they express it to me, it seems like the words give them some kind of superpower. Hey, Moose heard Hannibal barking. But, you know, the way that certain words are typed or spoken, that the person that delivers them to you is somehow superior to you because of the the flow of the words i don't know it's it's all mind state you know how, how can you be attached to the shit we think it's thoughts it, it's nothing physical to it it's all in your head all of it physical is different you'll touch physical but mental physical there's no such thing that's you playing with your you know you jacking yourself off in your mind <laughs> <laughs> it's all it is but we give it reality at a, an emotional level. And people get upset and happy and this and that and the other. Yeah. That's why we're, we're all different, but 
we're not all on the same wavelength, so we collide into each other in some kind of, sometimes really uncomfortable ways. Sure. Uh, yeah, time or two, man. But I've had near misses, too, where how the hell I got out of that was a miracle. But, you know, that's another, that's a dork table. I think I'll, I'll hopefully I remember on Saturday and, and do the dork table about some uh, work experiences that I've endured, you know, through my maturing years. And the shit that I've done for money, to, I was very creative for how to come up with some money out of a whatever you know so there you go and eh, in a perfect world we'd all be the same and just life would be good that would be pretty boring no i don't think so because i treat you like you're the same as me and i i'm not bored of you you see no, like, uh, but if everybody was the same hmm. that would be boring but oh grim <laughs> Well, you could always come back and we could talk about boring people that are all the same. Hey, you might be on to something. <laughs> are we boring people that are all the same, Moose? <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. Anyway, I think that comes to the end of the broadcast for the weekend. We're in a perfect world, we're going to go away now. All right, well, thanks, Flash. Thanks, Moose. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, y'all listening. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Over and...